Good afternoon. So just a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting in a restaurant slash bar in Zug, Switzerland. And you know, I was just this is a couple blocks away from our research and headquarters or research and development headquarters when I got an email from our marketing, our head of marketing, uh, Angela, saying, hey, Cal, how's your Coin Geek presentation coming along? It's uh, due tomorrow. I quickly wrote back, of course, it's coming, on, it's coming around very, very well. Had my pint, quickly got working on the presentation, and started to think about what would I talk about to this Coin Geek audience? And I thought, what would be exciting? And Maybe we could talk about some of the work that Tal is doing, our research team is doing around supply chain, uh, Internet of Things, uh, some blockchain compute, some really interesting stuff. I thought maybe that would excite them. <laughs> or we could talk about maybe Tal's five-year, ten-year outlook, you know, some real big picture things that would, sheer, would, would, <laughs> would absolutely get people off their seats. Um, and then I thought, well, you know, that's probably not what I would want to hear if I were sitting in the crowd today. So what would I want to hear? I wouldn't want to hear about Tal's five, ten-year lofty ambitions. I would want to hear about what Tal is doing today, here, and now. And then what we are doing, what Tal is doing for me, an application developer, a business that is building on this blockchain. So, I'll just, to be perfectly fair, Tal's not super exciting, okay? We're a bit boring. Um, we, we're kind of like meat and potatoes, I would say, or, you know, oatmeal t seven days a week, right? Or, uh, <laughs> I'm going to pay for this one, my uh, girlfriend Sarah's cooking, but... <laughs> so I was like, uh, we, that's who we are, but we're okay with that. We're an infrastructure company through and through. But there is, to be fair, a bit of excitement. We get to work with all these really cool applications and these enterprises that are connecting to the blockchain. So today, very briefly, in the short time I have, I want to talk to you about what tall, the technology we stand behind, which is Bitcoin SV. I want to talk to you about our infrastructure capabilities. And then I want to talk to you a bit about the hooks or the platform that we are creating to allow uh, application developers and businesses secure or integrate to the blockchain in a very secure, simple, and cost-effective way. Tal believes in the Bitcoin SV blockchain because we believe it has the most potential for innovation. Because it's scalable, because of its low-cost fees, um, and its stable protocol, and all the other things you can do with it, as we all know, we've heard throughout this conference, um, from smart contracts, tokens, to micropayments, nanopayments, you name it. So we believe in this technology, we stand behind it, and because of that, we put our money where our mouth is. And we contribute, contribute a very, very large amount of hash power to this network, and that continues to grow, uh, and it will continue to grow over time. We recently, last few months, processed over 52 million transactions, and that's a huge amount of transactions, um, and that continues to grow. And as you saw throughout this conference with all the new applications coming online, we expect this to be really, really big in the next little while. And something that makes us especially proud is Recently, we mined a two gigabyte block. Um, now, after hearing this conference, as you probably heard, that, hey, this is happening routinely right now, this was a very big milestone for us. Why? Because it got us to test out our infrastructure, to see if it would scale along with the network and along with the utility that's happening, and it did. So we're especially proud about that. But it also demonstrated the scalability powers of this network and the capabilities for transaction throughput. And this will continue, as you know, to scale more and more and more. What does that mean? That means more use cases, everything from IoT to smart cities to microgrid technology. And that's what excites us. So we built the infrastructure. We have the technology. Now we need to get that utility and that value. How do we drive people to Tal, how do we get them to use our infrastructure and then build on the blockchain? So I like to break this up into very simple. I want to say we write, we read and analyze, and we tokenize. So if you're a company, an enterprise, and you want to come to Tal and write your application to the blockchain, we allow you to do this very, very simply. You sign up an account in our Tal console. Once that's done, you get access to a number of uh, development tools. 
Once you do that, we work with you to integrate. We give you customer support. You get instant transaction processing, instant and secure transaction verification. If you want us to set up a node for you, we will do that as well. And it continues, and we have more and more services. But also very importantly to a lot of enterprises, we offer customized, flexible pricing. So if you were a large enterprise and you're doing a massive amount of transactions, you can work with us to get a volume discount. If you're a smaller application developer that has, wants some customized pricing for certain needs or certain use cases, so you want a payload data price or you want a standard transaction price, we'll work with you to do that. We are flexible, we're open for business. We want to help you develop. But maybe, actually one more thing that's really interesting is we do offer fiat pricing. So if you want to pay in your own currency, you don't want to deal with crypto or a wallet, we will help you do that as well. And maybe most importantly, there is that peace of mind our customers have that they can sign an agreement with a credible, transparent, publicly traded company. So you have your right, and now we have our read and analyze. So you write your data to the blockchain, now you need to do something with that. And for this, some people may have heard about it, it's what's on chain. And this is our read and analyze solution. What's on chain has been doing super, super well, 156 plus web and API calls request, and it grows and it continues to grow. And over the next few months, we'll be introducing more features that will allow you to do a lot more things with your data. So again, another way to create innovation. So stay tuned for our What's on Chain Lock Explorer. So we have the write, the read, the analyze, and now the tokenize. So tokenize is really interesting because we, in the last year, have been doing a private beta test with a number of applications, a number of businesses, and many of them are at this conference. And our STAS token protocol allows you to create and issue any type of token on the BSV blockchain at a base level. So this opens up a whole, whole world of new use cases. And this is why we're very excited to speak, or to have people that are, or companies that are beta testing us, like Vinex, who was at this conference, or speaking earlier with their STAS wallet. We had Chenti, who's changing the way electronic payments are done. Uh, Slictionary, that's empowering users to come up with definition for words and images and using blockchain for that. Kodug, that's looking at doing microtransactions, stable coins, and the list goes on. So it's working. And we're very, very excited about this. And in the next few months, we'll be talking about, or we'll be releasing a public beta version. So if you do have questions, come talk to our smart and capable technical guys after we can talk to you about the SDK and getting you set up as well. So you have write, read, analyze, and tokenize. And when you put that all together, and you put it under one platform, and you make that platform easy to integrate to, you make it secure, and you back that platform up with really solid, reliable infrastructure, and then you underpin it with a blockchain that scales and is low cost, you get some really good innovation. And this is why we have companies like Fix, who you probably heard at this conference. This is a gaming studio that's using blockchain to create games. So they have their crypto fights uh, game, which is doing extremely well. We're very happy to work with them. We're seeing companies like Unisot solving for sustainable supply chain with provenance traceability. Mint Blue, these guys are working uh, with large enterprises like accounting firms to put their data on chain and to do it in a very seamless, easy way. And then Brightview, another company that's creating a platform to do online rewards and that users get paid for reviews. That's it. That's what we do. We're meat and potatoes. We're infrastructure. But we're okay with that. So if you're a blockchain or you're an enterprise looking at coming onto blockchain, I should say, or you're on another blockchain, a different ecosystem, and maybe you're running into transaction uh, scaling issues or cost issues, or you're a developer, like we've seen throughout this conference and applications that are already on the BSV or within the BSV ecosystem, and you just want to focus on optimizing your business, not what's under the hood, that infrastructure, I want to leave you with this. Come and talk to Tal. We are open for business, uh, and it's about time. I'm Cal from 
tell. And please, please uh, talk to us if you have any questions. Uh, we look forward to working with you and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.